Hello, everyone. Welcome to QNAP Live Broadcast. I'm Sam, your host for today's topic. And uh, from now on, we will have a continuously uh, episode for the for a very special application, which is related to your surveillance system. Well, basically, a lot of people now are using IP camera and analog cameras. But uh, basically, the, the the trend is more like IP camera will get more and more. So uh, basically, if you are having a QNAP NAS and uh, you also have your own surveillance system at your like your home or your chain store, small business or your enterprises, mm, you might still using your current uh, surveillance system solution, which is like a IP cam and go to your MBR and then go to your computer for the CMS. Well, basically today uh, we want to let you know that basic uh, QNAP has also a very like well prepared function and applications as uh, a solution that can provide you a good way to be your CMS. Well, that can also maybe be a replacement or a substitution for your current MVR. So if you already have your surveillance system, check on our video to see if there will be a, a, like a add-on function to your current system. But, and if you are not having a, a surveillance system and you're looking for one, well, check on this video and maybe you will find some uh, another like another solution that we can provide you and you will find it more like uh, valuable or something so today i have rpm ellen which is very familiar and uh, in the surveillance system so uh, El uh, ellen will give give you a very detailed information about the current uh, solution that qnet can provide you and the add-on functions from our qnet nas so the topic today is the qbr pro so let's get into the slides First, we will have the surveillance solution for you, and then we will have the applications that we can provide to you. So if you are also in this field, check on that. And first, the agenda will be like, sorry, give me one moment. The agenda for today's topic will have three. The first one will be the total solution overview. And we will let you know that how can QNAP NAS be a CMS and how can we connect to all your IP cameras? And then the second topic will be the system architecture so that you will understand more uh, how we build our QVR Pro under our uh, above our NAS and uh, the uh, extend function and then the use cases and the scenarios. So uh, basically we will give you some samples, like we will give you samples for home user or the factory users or something. So if you are also in this field, or basically I think home user is like everyone. So you can check on this to see if our solution is good for you. And if yes, and also you have a QNAP NAS, well, it's a good chance for you. Okay, so first thing we will go to the solution overview. And uh, by the solution overview, I will let uh, Ellen to tell us about the solution. And uh, the most important thing is like we will have three parts. The middle one, the green one, is the home user part. And the left hand side is the business part. And for business, I will take that as a like small project, maybe under 64 channels. And for the right hand side, multiple store is for the channel quality above 64 or even 100. So please let us know the information. Thank you. Thank you. I am Alan. And then this diagram uh, show you the uh, product architecture of QNAP Savants uh, system solution. And then uh, our latest solution uh, could fit uh, various user at the various uh, scenario and uh, this solution also provides three uh, third-party uh, partner solution that is a party uh, partner to integrate uh, Cubia, uh, with Cubia Pro and uh, you can see we have a uh, high availability solution you can see the left uh, below product is called Cubia Guard mm -hmm. and uh, we can and, and then later we will uh, introduce a more uh, scenario for you. Okay, and this will be the 
like uh, a package of our QVR Pro. Well, basically, let's say on the left hand side one, the QVR Pro, which is like a server for you to set your cameras and to set your manage, uh, event management. And for the right hand side, the QVR Pro client will be more like a CMS system for all the live view playback and the event notification will be like, will be right here. And of course, you can control your layout for like one channel, two, four, six, nine, something like that. And the QVR center down there, left hand side. Well, we have the QVR, uh, sorry, we have the Q center agent and Q center client. The purpose is to let the users to control the system, no, not to control, to monitor the system log from all the, uh, all the other QNet NAS. So uh, the same concept. If you are having several of the Q, uh, QNet NAS and you all install the QVR Pro and the QVR Pro client, well, the QVR center can gather all the system log from the uh, from the other QVR pros. So uh, you can do the management right here, and you can monitor the, the the chart or the analysis in the QVR center. And for the QVR guard, that will be more like a file over system, uh, which means that when your NAS has a abnormal like shutdown, and it's just running, uh, it, uh, it's right running the QVR pro and client. It's doing the recording thing, and when that primary NAS is down, the QVR guard will take over the job and then do the uh, continuously record. And when the QVR Pro is back, uh, sorry, the primary NAS, primary NAS is back, and the job will go back to the primary NAS. So this will be our core package for your setting, server management, and monitor, and the failover from the head to the back. We have everything. And the next thing is. Yeah. Okay. And this is also uh, our wide product range because, um, okay, home user might use like TS328 or like Tubey. And recently we have just launched the TS332X at 10G built in and with three of the M.2 SSD slot building. So you can use our NAS to have a red file, red file function, which so far, I think most of the MBR in the market cannot do it because we can allow you to have one of the disk belts. And then for the middle one, we have uh, TVS 951X, which has the HDMI output. And you can also use the SSD card for the uh, QTR for a better read and write uh, efficient. So when you're doing the playback thing, you want to check the playback, we will provide you a faster efficient. And since the TBS 951X has its own HDMI output, you can directly use your HDMI to output all your video onto your monitor. So even that is a 4K recording video, no problem. And for the red part, that will be our product for the small uh, project because we have four of the SSD and eight of the hard disk. And since it has three of the HDMI output, so you can output your video or your monitor or your live, uh, live view playback into different of the monitors and then you have bigger storage capacity to store all your video uh, sorry camera recording and if you are looking for a uh, pega level storage sorry pegabyte level storage you can choose to use our tds 16489u that is a racket type but it can give you larger and larger storage capacity so if you are a bank or a military uh, institute and you need to have a long very long uh, storage uh, demand you can choose to use this one because in this case you don't have to change your hard disk and also you can have the RAID function to protect every of your data recording under a very safe place so this is the four of our product range that we can provide to you and of course if you are looking for uh, other uh, products go to our website and you'll see more so next. Okay. Uh, QVR Pro also provide a license upgrade solution. Mm -hmm. Without license uh, install, you still could using almost uh, full function of QVR Pro solution. Yes. And uh, QVR Pro provide a free channel for all support uh, QNAPNAS model, include ARM CPU model. Uh, with, if you uh, install a license, you could get the uh, extra channel support and the uh, uh, extra function. Yes. 
Okay, and the next will be our solution structure. So for the solution structure, uh, we can also know that what kind of the uh, other add-on functions we have. So the first thing is, uh, okay, Ellen will let us know how is the uh, QVR for package are made. Okay, uh, this diagram is to show uh, QVR Pro ecosystem interactions. Um, left side, you can see the there is a NAS, and the QT is always running at the QNAP NAS. And then you can see a QTS and the uh, container station, and the QR Pro, QR Center, and the QR Guard. And the, with, with embedded HDMI model, you could run in QVR Pro client at the same NAS. It depends on HD station. And then you can see the right side, you could uh, see various platform as be supported by uh, QVR Pro client. And uh, look into a uh, NAS to see how QR Pro work. And uh, you will see the storage net and the network and the application layer, uh, application framework, and the uh, OpenGL. QNAP using uh, many uh, technical layer to develop kinds of QBKG like QBR Pro solution apps. This, type, this diagram show the internal design of QBR Pro. QBR Pro kernel contain uh, contain privilege management and the event engine and the video recording engine and the uh, metadata interface and the record, recording storage management uh, have user to setting the recording storage engine of kernel and then when event en engine receive an uh, event of uh, it could trigger uh, recording and recording storage to start record event recording and the way metadata interface receive a trigger it will pair the channel and the time to record to metadata vault and uh, finally user could using qvr pro client to see live and the playback uh, and the search metadata uh, record then we, we can see the qvr center internal design and the uh, qvr Center kernel has three major uh, module. One is uh, uh, QR Center Privilege Management. Second is the QR Center Dashboard. And the last is the Management Multiple QVR Pro Server. And uh, the center could connect to Multiple QVR Pro and then create a, a QVR Center group. Finally, user can use QVR Pro client to connect to the QVR Center to see live and play, playback and the almost full function. And the uh, QVR Pro client, uh, like the hub of all QVR Pro solution app, it could connect to all kinds of server of QNAP Pro servants uh, uh, application family. And the QVR Pro client provide you the live view and the playback uh, basic function. And we provide a, um, provide a a unified UI uh, across across platform and the dynamic view and the, uh, we support the visual develop technique and uh, you can see the multiple event on our email and the notification list and the sound and so okay Okay. So this will be the user interface of our uh, QVR Pro client. Well, basically that is a very standard uh, standard UI for the CMS. Well, let's check on the right hand side. We have the dynamic view. So basically you can drag your IP camera into here and it will show it directly. Or you can choose the layout function and you can add each of your camera here. But for what is more uh, special, it's like uh, you have a blank tab you just drag any of your camera right here and uh, not only the image will show out directly but you can also adjust the adjust the, uh, the location for each of the camera by yourself and that is very easy to use so you can use like uh, the left hand side we have a fish eye and at the right hand side that is a screen from the fish eye so that is made by our 
software. So even your fisheye camera is a one camera fisheye, we can still do that for you. And at the right up hand side, we can see a EMAP. So uh, even, uh, sorry, so whatever the event is happening, the camera will flash and you will see that, okay, right here, there's the event happen. And at, at the left up hand side, we have a fixed lens camera, but still you can use our DPDC function to zoom in a part of the screen and you will just you can just use your mouse to drag the, the, the square in any part of the, the, the image and then you can see a zooming part, right? And at the left hand side, the item list, you can add all your cameras here and you can just move your mouse onto each of the camera. Even if you don't click that, it can show you the preview so that you will understand what is the camera that you are checking for. And at the right hand side is the main toolbar uh, for the setting screenshot or for the uh, full screen and for all the other settings are all right here and down down there we have the event notification like all the event that you can imagine of because in our setting uh, camera setting we can use like uh, up, uh, motion and maybe like alarm or maybe PIL or something and uh, okay even the, the camera is down right we can also have the event notification so we have uh, all the notifications that you can think of and down here is also the most important part of that the timeline you just drag the bar into the green part which is the time that we have the, the record right and right hand side you can use the control panel to control your PTZ like uh, focus, zooming out, or doing cruise, something, you can all do that. So basically, this is a very complete uh, user interface. All you can imagine of, we have it right here. And at the upper right, left hand side, you, we can see the CPU and the RAM, the hardware consumption to your NAS. So more the video, uh, more the IV cam you adding into your QPR Pro, and you will see the CPU and the RAM are like, you know, run, working harder and harder. So that is a very good way for you to directly monitor your hardware, uh, hardware condition. So when you found uh, the hardware is like reached the limit and you can just consider to have another NAS, right? And since this is a NAS, so uh, when we are doing the video recording thing, we still have other of the volume and pool to do all the other NAS thing. So in a company, I can still like doing my upload, download, snapshot, backup, something like that. So for snapshot and backup, does it include the video recording part? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that is another thing that normal MDR cannot do it. Okay. So let's check on the next slide. Uh, QR can keep recording. Uh, even QR Pro is uh, broken. And uh, the, the broken situation contain uh, HDD fail or network disconnection or power shutdown. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a NAS, uh, as a NAS based service app, we are benefited from QNAP storage function. Uh, first is H SSD plus HDD hybrid uh, architecture. Uh, because QR Pro using database index system for increased performance of record, uh, record, recording and uh, playback. SS, so SSD could be the foundation of high database I.O. request. But uh, we can still could record, to, uh, to record the recording data to HDD mm. hard disk. And uh, so the result will be the balance, balance of performance and the, pr the price. Mm -hmm. Second is the RAID. Uh, RAID. QNAP NAS support the RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, and the RAID 5 is 0, RAID 6 0. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are very uh, uh, get many benefits from the RAID architecture. And the uh, third is a multiple volume uh, design. Uh, in implementing an architecture like the separated uh, system and the recording data. For example, you can install, uh, you can set the first volume by SSD, 
for QTS and the QPR Pro installation. And the other button you can uh, uh, set by hard disk for recording space, recording data of QPR Pro. And it can it can be balanced uh, performance and the price too. And the last one is you can we, we can provide you a solution to reach you petabyte storage via uh, expansion unit uh, our Jabba. When the uh, last storage space in, is insufficient, you could use the uh, Jabba to reach the uh, petabyte level storage space. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also benefit from kind of a, a, a flexible network architecture. First is uh, we have uh, various of internet uh, interface, so you can s separate uh, different camera group, uh, but uh, you do not need to set a different network. And uh, it can uh, separate uh, separate separate the pressure of uh, camera throughput. And uh, we. Uh, many QNFNAS provide a 10, 10 key uh, network mm -hmm. interface. So it can, it, 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 this is a good thing for supply, uh, for over gigabyte camera throughput situation. If you have uh, one, maybe 100 uh, camera, okay. the throughput will be over uh, gigabyte. And the last one is a virtual switch. Uh, because some some QNAP NAS uh, also support a uh, internal PoE network mm -hmm. card, and uh, when you plug into the PoE uh, network network, uh, we can provide you the virtual switch and the virtual DHCP server, assign the uh, assign the uh, IP address for the camera. Okay. So this is a very useful uh, function, mm -hmm. and uh, we also combining various QNAP apps. First one is QUSB CAN 2. This app uh, allow you to create a, a surveillance, um, tiny surveillance solution. You can just uh, connect, uh, plug in a USB camera mm -hmm. into the NAS mm -hmm. and then QUSB, QUSB CAN 2 can turn the uh, webcam into the Amifu compatible camera. Yes. So you can, and then you can use the QPR Pro or service station mm -hmm. to connect to the uh, web camera. Sure. And the second is the hybrid backup sync app. We uh, depend on this uh, app to backup recording to another NAS uh, to over to cloud, backup to cloud. And the last one is the QVPN service. This, this QPKG provide you a private internet access environment and the to secure your user and the uh, Server. Okay, so uh, next thing will be the user case and scenarios. So let's check on this. Well, basically, the, the, the actual application will be more than the nine part, but I will just like give you some samples if you are just one of this, uh, like the cases you can think, think of like considering using our NAS. The home user, like your pets, your children, or your elder people inside of your house, you can use the security system to not to monitor or to spy on them, just to take care, take care of them. And then for the casino, because people come and go, you will need a good uh, surveillance system to you know like track all the people or track some detailing thing. And the army, of course, uh, we need to be full secure uh, in the army. So uh, basically, uh, a lot of place they will need to have the security system and for some special purpose like the thermal camera part, right? And for more, uh, basically, that is a place that people spend their money. So we will just definitely, maybe we can combine the QBR Pro with the post system and we can control each of the entrance for uh, safety purpose. In government, the uh, government and the left hand side, the bank, they are uh, like unit with uh, confidential requirement. So uh, also they will need a longer storage space. Like I just mentioned, we can provide you a petabyte level of the storage. And for the government, they will also need some like uh, alarm system or uh, other system that can combine to the QBR Pro. 
So the usage is very flexible. And once your camera can connect to the other add-on uh, accessories, you can all use it to, uh, with our QVR Pro. And for transportation, of course, uh, transportation and hospital, a lot of people come, a lot of people going by. So we will definitely need a uh, large storage capacity to, rec to save your recording data because maybe each of the ticket uh, that yours buy their uh, space and their like their their payment payment method need to be recorded by the system and uh, each of the card can be like the name with a time and a entrance or the like ticket machine and then go back to your uh, NAS system. So that will be the scenarios and uh, I will personally give you four like home, factory, enterprise and multiple sites from small to big. So you will understand more uh, how the uh, surveillance system related to you and how can QVR Pro give you a add-on function on this part. The first one is the home user. Like if you are a businessman, you often going out for business trip and you want to check on your your family, you can use the QVR Pro to do the playback for some like precious moment. And that is what not, uh, that is something that like the, 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 the FaceTime cannot give you, right? And if you want to check some playback for your uh, other people and for the safety purpose or the security purpose, you can also use a, a camera system, which QVR Pro can provide you playback. And uh, now, yeah. And then we go back here is for the multiple site. Yeah, the enterprise, because for the, 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 the problem and the bottleneck for enterprise is that uh, maybe we will need to have uh, a lot of people come and go and we will have uh, different apartments and we will have different doors. So we will have our uh, like HR department in one office room and uh, the other apartment, uh, the other department in the other several uh, office rooms. So uh, that is why we need different cameras and maybe we can bundle with the entrance system. So uh, we can bundle your uh, face detection, uh, face detector with the camera. So when your employee go to work, you can just use it uh, to record the time for their, uh, for their attendance. And I know that in mainland China, uh, some enterprises has already use the camera system to monitor how long their staff stay on, his, on their own chair and uh, when do they leave and when do they leave to the rooftop for one cigarette and that is what all the surveillance system can do which is horrible but if you are a enterprise owner maybe that is a solution you need and for the next is the uh, like a mall, so that I will call it a multiple site because, uh, okay, in Taiwan, we have a lot of chain stores and in chain stores, uh, each store has their own manager, but uh, they will all need to pass their recording data or their system log back to the central center, uh, center room. So uh, for multiple sites, we can also offer you a central management and then since we have different department and, and like parking lot need to have its own special uh, surveillance system for like maybe WDR and for PDZ. But for the first floor for cosmetic, maybe just need to have fixed lens. And uh, since a uh, uh, multiple site or a shopping mall, they will have over a hundred of the camera quantities. So that is why we need because or we need QBR Pro because each of the NAS can have 100 to uh, 128 of the cameras, right? Mm. At the limitation, which is normal MVR cannot have. So that is a very good solution for you to do the total cost down. And then the factory. Well, basically I have several cases in Taiwan that they make the chips. So uh, each of the chips, they will have their like serial number. And when the, the chips are going through the transportation uh, machine, each of the, the unit need to be taken picture. And then when the picture has been taken, the number on the top of the unit will be uh, like 
be cat, uh, categorized into their system to track uh, where do the unit go and uh, in what kind of the, the product they have been installed. Even more, they can track the unit track from their supplier for the QA purpose, OQC, IQC, something like that. So uh, the security system now can do that. So if you are having your own factory, you can also consider this for your quality control, right? And this will be, the, the next part will be several of the functions. So I will do the uh, fundamental part and then Ellen will do the advanced part. So IP came out since we can support on VIP, right? Yes. So we can also support more than 5,000 of the current IP cameras around the world. No matter you are using the biggest brand in the market from China or you are using some very special IP camera from America or from uh, Germany, you can all use your camera with our QVR Pro. And since it's very easy for you to install, if you have your own IP camera and MVR inside of your house or your factory, you might need to do the pop holding by yourself. But from now on, with our QBR Pro, you don't have to do that anymore because our NAS has that UPMP uh, DDNS function, so they can automatically set up your pop forwarding with your own NAS. So once you set up your NAS and you connect your IP camera with your NAS, you can just do the access and you can just do the playback and live view very easy. And it's very easy for you to do the management because we have QBR Pro as your server and we can use your cell phone to do the QVR uh, playback and uh, uh, the, the live view thing. So it's very easy for you to use. And then the playback also, you can do it on the computer and just directly access into your QVR, or you can use your cell phone. We have a lot of different kinds of apps. We have over 19 apps for your for your uh, cell phone, no matter it's Android or it's iOS. So no problem for you to do the remote control and monitor and uh, the event take place like here we have we have the emet function so you can just upload your own blueprint and when you upload your own blueprint you just drag your camera under uh, onto the blueprint and uh, right click steady and you can like turn your camera angle and then next time when the event is happening you can you can know which floor where which camera is taking recording to that event through the email. It's very, it's a very good function. And then this is the remote monitor. Well, basically we just talked about the local site monitoring. You can do it from your HDMI or from your intranet. And then of course you can use your uh, cell phone through our my DDNA, uh, sorry, my QNet cloud, go back to your NAS and then through the connection, you can go to your QVR Pro. And here is the advanced feature. So Alan will tell us about that. If you are a convenience store owner and um, own multiple store location, and uh, you may think uh, to monitor uh, multiple location is a uh, hard work. You need to uh, log in one store and then log out mm -hmm. and log in to a store again. So you, you may be you may need to seek a solution to uh, uh, log in once. Uh, once mm -hmm. time, but uh, see the whole location um, camera video record or and the recording. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we think the QVR center can is the answer of your question. And uh, uh, turn to a uh, home situation. Even uh, even in home, every uh, everyone plays a different role. And uh, you, for example. You yourself will be your to install a QR Pro and set the camera and the set the uh, camera location. Mm -hmm. And but uh, you may do not want uh, your wife or your son to change the camera setting. So you can set the specific uh, privilege setting for your wife or your father. So our privilege, our flexible privilege design will be the answer of your. Uh, Question mm -hmm. and the study is uh, uh, study is uh, uh, log uh, uh, used uh, for surveillance system. This is about a camera. So user hope uh, surveillance system could run twenty four hour and seven day mm -hmm. without any error. So uh, if we but uh, there are many camera. So 
if you one day you encounter some compatible uh, mm-hmm. issue, you need a, you we our system can provide you a complete log check system and uh, uh, easy use uh, uh, check report system mm-hmm. for for user. So it will be the good solution for user. And the fourth is uh, uh, we can protect your hardware fail. Uh, so you don't need to uh, afraid about how we, how we fail because Cuba Guard can pro- pro- protect your uh, surveillance uh, environment. Yes. Keep the recordings still uh, mm-hmm. be recorded. And the last one is we can we provide a one plus one more than two solution. Yes. So Cuba Pro could integrate with many third party systems mm-hmm. like Post and uh, Assist Control. Or our system, so user can still use can but uh, after the uh, integration, user can still use Kiva Pro Client to assess whole data of third party mm-hmm. integration data. Mm-hmm. Okay, well we have a chart for the final recap. Like uh, from the left hand side, we can see we have home user, enterprise user, multi site, and factory users. And uh, on the top, we have uh, like the ten of the the functions that we have just mentioned from easy to use to support remote monitoring and we have maintain and uh, live view and notification all of this for the four scenarios QBR Pro and QBR Client can handle that and uh, since a home user doesn't need to use uh, the managed function for multiple servers so no need and enterprise to factory users you can use the QBR Center and the independent privilege management and the record the downtime uh, well, we will need the qbr pro and qbr center to work together so four of the scenarios can use that and to do the uh, fos function fail over function well qbr god will be the best choice for you to, to to protect your whole system and of course the home user does not need that and then uh the next part will be we have uh, two more scenarios for you uh, for our business users multi-site users from Ellen. so you can see this uh, diagram we uh, let you know the couple and can suit for a uh, store scenario and the multiple store scenario mm-hmm. and uh, this under this scenario user also can uh, use the uh, uh, hyper sync uh, QPKG to, re, re, to pick out the mm-hmm. recording of QR Pro and uh, the third party in, can also re- integration the QR Pro and uh, let's, finally user can use the QR Pro client to connect to the QR Center or QR Pro and uh, if user want to protect their QR Pro they can uh, add a, a QR Guard to uh, guarantee the recording could be continued and then you can see the right side uh, within the QR center you can see the seven solution and the bus stop QBR appear you can use our latest QR center to support our old product so even you already uh, buy QNAP old product we also do not abandon your old product you can change you can try to our that is QVR Center to get the to keep the, the your uh, uh, customer mm-hmm. uh, continue to use. Mm-hmm. And the, the centralized downward management. So uh, QVR Center can manage uh, QR Pro and the seven station and the QVR one. Uh, point one point three. So you can use a whole new QR Pro client to connect to the uh, seven session and rest of QVR mm-hmm. via via QVR Center. Yes, and uh, get the latest uh, feature uh, under this design. Okay, so I will do the final recap because I have just listed down nine of our advanced features. The first one will be that we have a free channel. So once you have our uh, once you have our QNAP NAS, you don't have to purchase another MBR, which is like I remember that in, in the market, the market price for eight channel POE MBR is like two hundred and twenty US dollar. So you save the money, 
And since the QNAP NAS can support up to 128 of the channel uh, channel quantity, so uh, you might not to, you might not be able to find another MBR can be so compatible like this. And the third point is we are very easy to set up uh, all the cameras because once you have done the setting up for your NAS, you just plug your uh, IP camera into RJ45 or switch and then go to our NAS, everything's done. And then since we have support 8 gigabit of the transmission speed to more and more of our NASes, so uh, to get a faster speed for your high, uh, higher quantity channel, uh, it's now getting more easier. And then we, uh, we have it integrated over 5,000 of the IP cameras in the market. So um, you don't really have to worry about some specific camera that you purchase, but not fit to our QBR Pro. And we support the multi-site management. So we have just checked uh, QBR Center can give you the multi, sorry, can, can do the management or all your QBR Pro log. And then since uh, you have your NAS right at your place, no matter where you go, as long as you can log into your NAS, you can log into your QBR Pro system. And the sixth part is also very important. We support your RAID function, so uh, we can allow one of your disks to fail. So uh, this is not a function you can say it on the normal MBR, so it's very valuable. Uh, so remember that. And uh, since we are a NAS manufacturer, so we also support the backup function through our hyper backup sync, no matter it's local side or, or the RTRR to another uh, QNAP NAS support, you can use FTP server, or you want to use Semba server, or you want to use your uh, public cloud provider, that will be all okay. And uh, for the last one will be the QVPN. Well, we all know that uh, in the beginning of last year, the hacker issue attacked the surveillance industry. So a lot of big brands, especially in China, they have been attacked and uh, the result is like a disaster. So that is because all of the connection are onto the public internet. So uh, when you're using our QVPN or QGAL, which will be launched with the QTS 4.3.5 in the beginning of August, uh, you will have a safer uh, internet transaction and connection for your own private uh, surveillance system. So that will be all the information we want to provide you. And let's go back to live. And thank you again, Ellen, for coming to our broadcast and give us such a detailed information to the QBR Pro. And I hope that uh, more and more people will try to start to use our QBR Pro and because, well, the city value is very good. Well, if you also like our video, please go to here, the, yeah, go here, the live.kidnap.com and you can check our video again. And if you like this uh, PowerPoint, you want to download it, also go here and look for the video today and you can download the slides. And for the next, okay, for the whole August, we will put our focus on the QBR Pro's uh, family. So we have a lot of uh, broadcast for each of the topics. And don't forget to watch the NAS video. I will personally show you how to set up everything for four of this topic. And uh, I'm Zen, your host for this uh, episode. And uh, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.